Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I'm creating a new series of videos related to programming. This series will focus more on solving problems rather than teaching basic programming skills. In this series, our first video is about converting images to base64 strings in Java programming language using base64 class defined in java.util package. Before we get started, I would like to make a request. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, keep following along. I'll be posting some good videos. Hopefully you would like it. And if you like it, please give thumbs up. And if you don't like it, please uh, leave a comment and let me know why. I'll try to improve myself. So let's get back to the code. This is our project. I've opened in an IntelliJ idea ID. You can use any ID for this example. And we have only one class here, and we are not going to create any other class in this project because it's just two simple methods that we are going to use to achieve to achieve this uh, goal of creating. Or converting image to base 64 string so let's do this first of all we will create a method to encode I'll explain the parameters and return types in a while Okay, let's see the declaration of this method. We have a private static string encode image, which is evident what we are trying to do. Uh, we are trying to encode an image to base64 string, and we pass the image to be converted to base64, and then later we will save the string the converted string in this file and also return that converted string to the calling method to print in console so that's what we are doing here uh, before we can do any encoding and decoding first of all we need to read from this file or read from this image so we will open the stream file input stream image stream And we'll pass it image path. And this image path is coming from this sample folder. At runtime, I'll pass this folder's content, this image, to that, to this method. And uh, that's it. So we have opened the stream to our file. Now we need to read bytes from this image stream. We call and we when we call uh, image stream read all bytes we get a byte array so we'll capture that in a local variable image stream dot read all bytes that's what we're going to call and after that uh, we will pass this data to base64 Base64 class has uh, a method called get decoder or get and get encoder. We are just going to use these two, not get mime decoder or mime get encoder or url decoder or url encoder. We are just going to use the decoder encoder. So we will use get encoder first because we are encoding which returns the encode object uh, encode object of 
base 64 in a class encode and we are going to call encode to string method of that class which takes a byte error we are not going to call encode uh, which has three overloaded person uh, because we we have we want a string to come out of this encoding not bytes or ints so we will use encode to string and we will pass the data that's it it returns a string we need to capture this string because we will be using this string to write to this file so we will use string uh, image string let's call it image string and now to write this in a string to a file we have to write this string to a file uh, to this file so we will open a file writer and we will call it file writer and we will pass it save for path now we will write it write the string image string that's it what we have done in this method is we have first read from the image file we got bytes from it uh, we passed those bytes to the encode to string method of base64 uh, class and then we have written that string to a file on our hard disk now let's close our file writer also close our file input stream image stream dot close and return finally our image string that's it our encode method is complete we can test it now so let's test it let's call this from our main method passing image path let's copy this path the name of the file was image.jpg we need to pass another parameter where we will save the string so we will save the string in the same folder just change the name of the file text that's it now this encode image method throws java.lang.exception so we will we say it throws exceptions so it throws exception and we are not handling this exception so we must throw again uh, let's save we can save it in a local variable or we can just pass this to system out dot printing that's it let's run the code and we get our base 64 string you can see how long this string is it just never seems to end keeps going keeps going Wow. Now let's check our directory. We have the image text file. And inside this file, we have the base64 representation of this image. Base64 string representation, basically. Okay. So we close this file now. And now we want to create the method to decode this image. To save time, I could just copy, but let's 
and write everything again. Uh, let's start it. This time we will not be returning anything because we just want to create an image from the saved base64 string. So let's call it decode image and let's pass two strings again. Path. This time we give text path and because we, we are going to read string from this file and also we will pass string save path because we are going to create image from this decoded string so let's see how we can do that and again let's throw an exception First of all, we need to create file input stream. We need to read from this file. And we let's pass text path to the constructor. And let's read, read all bytes. Now at this point, we have two options. We could either pass this method or this statement to our this is not a method this is just a statement we could pass this statement to base 64 get decoder dot decode which takes a string and it has four overloaded methods uh, one takes string, another takes byte, byte buffer, bytes, uh, and two bytes. One for source and one for destination. We could pass um, a byte, uh, you know, the byte array we have here, or we could pass string read from this file. We will pass the string read from this file but I'll say to show you how to do both the first method is this because we had saved string in a file we are doing it this way we could also have done like this either way you get the same result it's your choice what you want to do I'll keep the first version now this method returns a byte array we must capture this because we want to create an image from this array of bytes so let's open a file output stream and let's pass save path to it this is where we will save our image that is new image that we have created from this decoded string and let's call file output stream dot write and pass it our data. That's done. Now we can close our resources. called input stream dot close that's it our decode method is complete now we can call this method now let's see how we can call this method let's comment this decode image let's pass the part of the 
file we have already copied it no we haven't so we can use uh, copy this again paste it here and the name of the file was ms.txt and we need to pass another Keramic object. Sorry, we need to pass another argument, uh, which was where we want to create the image, the new image. We'll copy this again. Uh, new image dot jpg. That's it. Since we do not return anything, we can call this method right away. Everything is good. That's it. We have our new image from this byte array, or oh, sorry, from this base64 string. We have successfully converted this to an image. First, we converted this. Uh, or rather we encoded this image into uh, this 64 string and then we converted this base 64 string back to image that's it so we have completed this uh, video I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you have learned something and if you like this video please hit like if you have any suggestions please comment until next time this is me signing off goodbye